Hi, this is Eric from Mass Street Music. Today we're going to be looking at the Timmy 15th Anniversary version 3. We've been fans of the version 2 for a long time. It's one of the staff's favorite pedals. And Paul made a few changes to the circuit, and we're really liking what we're hearing so far. First of all, the EQ is going to be a little bit more logical. So as you turn the pedal to the right, it's going to be full on unity with your amp. And then their cut controls, like the old Timmy, but they're going to, as you turn counterclockwise now, they're going to be cutting that frequency. So you can turn all the way up to start, and then as you add gain, you can cut bass or cut treble from there. The second change is the switch in the middle. So the version 2 had a switch that gave you three different clipping options which is now in the inside of the pedal, so you can access that if you like, but it's something you're probably going to set and, and not mess with. The version 3 is going to have a boost switch. So when you add this in, it hits the front end of the pedal and makes it work a little harder, which is a great thing if you just want an extra gain stage. And it's kind of the same boost that was in the original Tim pedal that Paul made before the Timmy. Um, so we're going to run through a few different sounds with a Dr. Z Moz 18 reverb and a 112 cab with a Reaper HP. I'm going to be using a Fender Tele, and I'm also going to be using a Gibson Les Paul, so we're here with humbuckers and single coils. And we're going to run through some clean sounds, clean boost sounds, and some heavier gain sounds as well. Here's our clean signal. Here's the Timmy set to a very transparent clean boost. You can see this mode, it keeps all the high end intact and it's going to be flat with the amp. It sounds a lot like the amp, just turning up the gain slightly. Here's the pedal set to a mid gain sound with the boost off. This sound I'm going to start with the boost off, and I'm going to engage the boost for more of a lead tone. One thing I really enjoy about the version 3 is how clear everything is, even with that much gain. It stays, you can hear all the pick attack, you can hear the note definition. The version 3 takes humbuckers incredibly well too. Because it's so articulate, everything's going to sound nice and tight, you're going to hear the note definition. I'm going to start with a clean sound, and then I'm going to go on to the Timmy set as a clean boost. You're going to notice the humbuckers are going to push things a little bit more. I'm going to start with the version 3 without the boost. I'm going to add the boost for more of a lead sound. So you probably notice as I added that boost in, there's more treble and the pedal became more aggressive. So you may find you want to turn the treble down, or cut the treble as you turn the boost on.
As you can see, the version 3 is a very versatile pedal. It can cover anything from very transparent, clean boost sounds to full-on high gain sounds. It responds well to single coils and humbuckers, and it really takes every guitar I've plugged into it great. We're really excited about the version 3. We still love the version 2s. This is just with added clarity and the added boost feature. It makes this pedal a little more versatile, and we're very excited about it. You can find it on our website, masterymusic.com.